from NBC News, this is Today. We're back now with a countdown to Halloween. It falls on a Saturday this year, next Saturday, and some of the spookiest getaways around are offering value deals to lure folks for the weekend. Travel Zoo senior editor Gabe Saglier is here with more on that. Gabe, good morning. Always good, good to morning, have you Lester. on. Yeah. I, I, I'm shocked that there's certain hotels that actually embrace their image for having haunted rooms or, or haunted portions well, of the Well, there's so many stories that they can't ignore them. Some have actually full-time historians just to uh, collect these stories, archive them, because they're out there. They abound. Let's talk about some of them. The Queen Mary, which is, right. has been birthed in, in Long Beach, California sure. for a long time, served in World War II to carry troops. What's the story there? Rich history. Well, some paranormal experts say the Queen Mary is home to at least 200 entities. Uh, people say that in the first class pool area, they still hear people partying and splashing, although there's nobody there. There's even a little girl by the name of Jackie, a ghost that presumably even strikes up conversations with the guests. And they change rooms in the pool area, but apparently, according to some experts, is a vortex between our world and theirs. Now, they lead paranormal tours even late at night, year round, and they've got their big shipwreck event that runs through the end of this month. The Stanley Hotel S. East Park, Colorado. Right. Uh, Stephen King wrote *The Shining* there, which certainly hasn't helped their image for having <laughs> some, some. Or has it? I mean, you know, ghosts. yeah. Well, he stayed in room 217 here, a very highly requested room at the Stanley. Uh, and uh, the uh, wife of, uh, of the former owner uh, still presumably plays the piano late at night. Uh, the fourth floor, particularly uh, the uh, site of many paranormal activity at the Stanley Hotel. All right, some of the wounded soldiers from the Alamo were kept at a place called the, uh, the Emily Morgan Hotel right. in San Antonio, Texas, and that has helped create the legend sure. that some of them still exist. And it's a beautiful hotel, Gothic architecture. They have a stainless steel pool, but it, especially in the seventh and ninth floors, uh, we're talking about the temperature anomalies, uh, shaking and rattling of doorknobs, and people will look out into the courtyard of the Alamo, and they, they'll say they'll see ghosts come out at night for a stroll. Hotel Del Coronado, famous hotel on the beach there outside San Diego. They, that's a hotel that has embraced the stories of ghosts. They have a full-time uh, person on the site who's a historian, archives all these stories that people say. Uh, they've seen Kate Morgan, who checked into the hotel back in 1892, waiting for a lover who never showed and heartbroken. She took her own life. Uh, so she'll still apparently walk the beach there with a broken heart. Room 3372 is where uh, she stayed, and people uh, will request that very readily. They say they'll see the, the curtains blow in the room even when the window is closed and they'll even pick up the uh, sort of the uh, fleeting scent of the a thing woman. I love about that place if you're afraid of the ghost walk out of the beach and you see the Navy SEALs training yes. right right from right That's nearby Alberta Canada the Fairmont Bant Springs what's the ghost story there? well this is a very popular wedding and skiing destinations luxury resort a uh, Sam the Bellman a former employee apparently still shows up helps people unlock doors and uh, help with lighting and there's a story of a bride-to-be who on her wedding day tripped on her wedding dress as she came down the stairs and died apparently she's still seen descending the stairs and even even taking a dance or two in the ballroom there. It's a gorgeous looking place. It's a beautiful uh, uh, place there in Alberta. Yeah. Gabe Sagley, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Lester. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. We'll be back after these messages.